Good morning. Um, so we're in South Wales today at the Black Mountains and we're doing Hatterall Hill, which is the first in the chain of the um, Offers Dyke Path mountains that go through the um, hills that go through the uh, Brecon Beacons. So just finding my way across a bit of sort of river and farmland and then I'm going to get onto the Offers Dyke Path and then it goes up this ridgeway and up onto the top and it should be really nice views. See you in a bit. Just going through the woods, this beautiful bluebell wood. Love this time of year with the bluebells coming out, it's stunning. My other favourite time of year is around September where the purple flower comes up on the gorse on the heather. It's really beautiful. So just trying to weave through these tracks to find the offers dyke path and once we're on there it should be a bit more straightforward. So the uh, sheep field is a familiar Welsh site. We just had the lambing season which is pretty cool and uh, a lovely view already of the Manoeth D forest. And then we've got um, over towards the Sugarloaf and Brinaru there. So uh, yeah, nice views opening up already. A few sunny spells as well, so hopefully the weather will improve. See you in a bit. So I've just passed the, uh, it looks like an old Iron Age hill fort, uh, which is pretty cool. You can see the landscape there from when it used to be fortified man-made landscape. Skirid Mountain, good view of that. And then views of Orange, Brinaru and um, Sugarloaf. So my way is this way and I'm going to take the right hand side of that walled area which is the Beacons Way and that will lead me up onto the ridge where the Office Dyke Path is. Right so I'm at the first trick. It's very cold and windy. Views have opened up a bit. And there's some low cloud there over the, the higher hills. They're more like mountains, really small mountains, those ones up in the up from Krakow. Looks like it's headed this way actually, so there might be a, a little bit of low cloud. So that's it there, that's Hatterall Hill um, and the summit is up up somewhere around there so I'm going to have a look at the map and find out which path is best to get to it quicker. Um, just doing a half day one today so just a quick and, well I'll say easy, a quick one anyway. So we've got, um, we are joining the office dike path now and I'll catch you in a bit. So one cool thing about the Office Dyke Path is it separates England and Wales. It's exactly on the border. So I can stand here and I can be in Wales. And I stand here. And I'm in, I'm in Herefordshire, I'm in England, which is cool. There's a nice view of the Malvern Hills, Gloucestershire, Cotswolds, M50 area. Herefordshire, it's really nice. There's lots of gorse up here, which is quite pretty as well. Not gorse, sorry, Heather. I really know my hill plants too well. I should probably do a bit of research. Nice views. And views as far as the Severn Estuary as well. So, right, we're going to, um, hopefully about 25 minutes, something like that. We should hopefully be at the top, so a bit of a trudge. Uh, we'll be there shortly, I think. So the path split into two. This is a byway to the right-hand side here, which takes you away from the summit. The main office dike path doesn't cross the actual summit, so it goes close to it. But I think I can get onto a path on the left here, which there is there on the map, which crosses the grouse butts and the actual 
the actual proper summit of the hill. So I'm going to go this way and hopefully it will take me to exactly where I want to be. Views are really opened up now. It's gorgeous. Real feeling of freedom just walking through the heather. It's really nice. And, and it's remote here. I haven't seen anyone so far, which is really nice. Right, I'll catch you a bit. Beautiful valley view now. Up right through into the middle of the Black Mountains. It's absolutely stunning. A view of um, Penny Gadir there that's shrouded in cloud. Yeah, it's awesome. Still haven't found the top yet. I better be quick because I've got to get back fairly soon. So I'm going to try and go through this heather to see if I can find it. At last, on the true summit. There's a bugger to find actually in this thick gorse stuff. So, brilliant view though. From here. There it is. Quite an unimpressive summit. But, got there at last. Right. Time to get out of this stuff and get back down. But really enjoyed this one. It's, um, yeah, well worth it. Nice sort of half day outing. And, um, very nice views. See you in a bit.